Hi guys, Tim here and welcome to Barn Club. Behind me is my 1985 Jetta Coupe. I bought this Mark II at the back of last year, unseen off Facebook Marketplace. And driving at home, it turned out there are a few issues with this little Jetta. Now, I'm gonna take up the barn, we're gonna have a look and see is this something we can fix or do we need to take some slightly more drastic measures? So I'm gonna get in the car and head up the barn and we'll see what we can do. Now, if you're new here, you might not have seen the previous video where I jumped in the car, drove halfway across the country to pick up this Jetta that I saw for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Even though it's the most expensive Mark II I think I've ever bought, I didn't really know much about it. So that meant the drive home was quite interesting because I got to find out all the faults and niggles with this car. Now, the biggest issue, the one that I'm hoping to tackle today, is it runs like a bag of nails. It's really bad. Um, and you'll have seen that there is a switch on the dash because it's got some funky metering head set up. It's got a metering head out of a later car, so a Passat or a, a VW Corrado. And yeah, I think like the, you've, you've basically got sort of cold start and warm start controlled by a switch. The trouble is the switch doesn't work very well. Um, so I think what we need to do is put this back to the standard cager injection system that this car would have come with from factory. Luckily, this car came with a few spares in the boot. All the best cars do, you know that. And included in that was a couple of cager metering heads and some various bits and pieces. So hopefully with the spares that I got with the car and the bits that I've got back in the barn, I should have enough to get this K-Jet system put back together and have it running the way Volkswagen intended. So I think today we desperately need to make a decision on this car. Can we get the injection system running right? Or do we look at maybe putting a different engine in this car and making an absolute weapon of a Nevada beige Mark II Jetta Coupe? Now, I'm about five minutes away from the barn, so that gives you just enough time to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you up the barn. Right, so back up the barn, the jet is in, and the bonnet is up. So that means it's time to have a look and see if we can sort this idling issue. Now, we could just put the standard K-Jet system back in. Ideally, that's probably the way forward. But for now, let's have a little look and see if there's anything obvious that is causing this running issue. Now, I guess the first thing to do is look at the vacuum lines and see if there's any problems there. And while we're there, we may as well look at the fuel lines as well, just because while we're there, we want to make sure there's nothing cracked or split. Now, so as you can see, it's got the later metering head here. Is that what's causing all the problems? Or should it actually have been a really clever fix? Let's have a quick look. I think I can spot something already. So looking down the back of the inlet. Yeah, I don't know if you can see there. Look, that, it's not meant to be like that. Should be more like that. I guess that's a good place to start. I'll pop this vacuum hose off and we'll see if by putting a new hose on, it makes any difference to the idle. All right, so this looks like this could be the offending article. Split on the top, but also all down here as well, the hose has definitely seen better days. All right, do you want to pull that top off, Sam? And then pop him in there. Hi, Carl. Is it? It goes on there, like nicer, sort of. And we can root it, turn that round, root it a bit nicer, run that way. And we'll go down and put it under the fuel lines. And up to there, it's a nicer route yeah. for it. Okay. Then if you can just put a cable tie on there to the fuel line. Yeah. And with that trimmed off, we'll pop that back in the bottom of this valve sensor thing. And we'll see if it's, yeah, if it's going to run okay. Right, so back in the Jetta, pop my foot on the clutch. We'll see if a six mil bit of hose has fixed this Jetta. Fingers crossed. Spark 
it down for two, wouldn't it? Not going to really make a difference, does it? Now it looks like cylinder two um, because we pulled that lead off. It doesn't really make any difference. So it looks like we are really going back to basics with this. We're changing vacuum hoses. We're checking just if, this, if the engine is, if the cylinders, no, if, uh, if we're getting spark on, on these cylinders and it looks like that's what it is. So having a look at the coil. Wow, okay, that is uh, not good. I mean, that's definitely some better days, isn't it? I mean, the inside of the coil is blue as f as well. So I guess first things first, we're just gonna spray a bit of WD-40 onto that coil just to clean the end off. And we're gonna replace that king lead. And hopefully that's gonna make a difference. But look, with this, I guess it is just plugs, leads, clean up the contacts, make sure everything's good. Just really basic service stuff that this car clearly has been lacking. Now this lead isn't really plugging in particularly well. It's not clicking with the defined click you'd expect. So it might be time to try another one off a car that we know works. Be much more Possibly. defined click, isn't it? Yes. All right. Hey, so we've uh, we've put another coil on. We know it's a working coil off the car. Um, so fingers crossed, it fires up and idles nicely. Let me flick the switch. No, that's worse. I guess next up, we'll take a look at the spark plugs. So we'll pop number two out, because that seems to be the one we're having all the problems with, and see what it looks like. Yeah, that is... Uh... I pull three out and three out for comparison. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so for comparison, number three is uh, a lot cleaner. I mean, that's how a spark plug's supposed to look, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas number two, yeah, you can see why that's not working. Third time's the charm. Right, so we replaced the king lead, we've replaced the coil, and now we've replaced number two spark plug because that's the one that's all sooted up and nasty. So is it gonna run? Let's find out. hesitant isn't it it's still running like an absolute bag of nails yeah it just seems to be missing that little bit now all signs are looking towards fueling problems with this jetta and again it comes back to this dodgy metering head setup that's on there so we're going to do a quick compression test just to make sure that there's not a more sinister problem but it looks like we've got a problem with this injection system and the car is just running like an absolute piece of shit so as we thought, it's not a compression issue, but it's always worth checking. So it's clearly an issue with this injection system. So again, just looking at the spark plugs that we've taken out, you can see there's a massive difference on number two. So I guess this is gonna need some further investigation. 
I've lubricated the injectors because they're just not coming out, but it might be that we've got a lazy injector, so that is just overfueling on cylinder number two. So if we take it out and move the injector to cylinder number one and put the other injectors, like swap them around, then if we move the problem, then we know it's that injector. So I've lubricated the injectors for now. We're gonna let that soak in and come back up in a couple of days and hopefully we'll be able to just pull them out without too much of a fuss get them swapped over and then we'll know one way or another so if you've got any ideas what's wrong with this drop it down in the comment and let me know and i'll take a look but i think it's looking more and more likely that it is a problem with one of the injectors so guys with that in mind i'm going to leave it here for today thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one